Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. I know, it's been a while, it's been a long time. Hope you guys are doing pretty good out there. Hope you guys ain't getting any damages. Hope my videos are helping out my fellow locators out there. Well, I got another great video for you guys. It's locating a customer owned um, street lights. There's no way of direct connecting to the street lights. So I'm going to show you what I do, how to locate our customer owned street lights. And here's the pole right here. If you go look up, you can see the U-Guard, the black stripe. And here's our customer street light up here. Up here, how do you locate this street light? You can see I got my box hooked up. And right in here, this black little U-Guard is the light. Right in there. And you can see what I'm doing? I'm wrapping around a set of wire. Wire right here. Making a ring clamp and try attempt marking this street light right here. And you can see on this street light right here, I got it marked out perfectly. We have another street light down there that I'm going to right over there. That street light there, I'm gonna videotape this. So if you have not, please like, subscribe, thumbs up this video so it gets out there on the YouTube algorithm since I didn't post a video for a long time. All right, ladies and gents, let's get right into the video. All right, here's our next street light right here. We got to try to make the temp locating. Hopefully you can see that the wire's up there. It's a two wire coming down this pole here. So what I found, this comes with the RD in the box, this roll, this spiel of wire. But this U-guard right here, this guard right here has the wire inside. Sometimes on the older poles, there'll be a slit down the middle here and the wire, the power line will be right in the slit here and another strip of, um, of wood hiding the wire. So in this case, here is a brand new pole, brand new LED light. So I got this roll of wire here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it around <clears throat> this pole here. So what I'm gonna do is make it nice and tight. Just wrap it right really easy. Round in circles you go. And I'll be back. And you can see I got it nice and tight around the pole. And what I'm doing, I'm trying to locate the wire that's in here. And what I'm doing, I'm making a ring clamp out of this, out of this roll here. So by me wrapping it around a pole here, I'm making a big ring clamp and it should work. Should work. So now this on the wire, I got this wire sticking out. Oh man, what's going on here? My ring clamp is coming apart. All right. Maybe make a little, a little tie here, I don't know. So now I'm, go, I'm going to touch these two, the two wires. See, there are two wires. See, this is a wire here. The wire, wire here. Touching two wires. Grab my alligator clip. Out of this box. If you guys looking for this elegant gator clip, I have a link in the descriptions. I'm Amazon. Two for like 10 bucks something. I use this a lot. Now I'm clipped on from an alligator clip.
grab my red lead from the box and I'm already I'm already grounded so you gotta make sure you always ground out first because if you put this on first and ground out last this comes energized you're grounding yourself out and we don't want that to happen before Christmas I'm connecting nice hope the winds now interfering now on my box here You want to be on a higher frequency. You want to be on kilohertz. Right now, my hertz, 320 hertz. So I'm going to bump mine up to 83 kilohertz. 83 kilohertz. And I got to push it out 3 milliamps with 30 volts. So we know we have resistance on the line. I'm going to take my receiver. And hopefully, we get two milliamps on the receiver here. But you see where I'm staying away? I'm 30 feet away from that pole when I'm doing my sweep. Eight kilohertz. And let's, my gain is going to be a little higher. I'm going to be pushing maybe 83 here. So 85, I'm a little higher. You gotta be higher because we're making a, a rain cloud. And you can see I'm still maintaining my distance away from that pole, 30 feet. Whoa, what the, what we got here? All right, let's put it down. I'm not getting enough milliamps, but I'm at one foot, but I'm only getting a 0 0.57. So let's complete, let's finish our sweep. Still maintaining my dirty foot away from that pole as I'm sweeping. It's very important to stay the same distance when you're doing your sweep. So I'm almost done with my radius, which I'm completed, but I'm still going around in circles for the hell of it. Voila. So my tone turned here, one foot, I'm sorry guys, I know the receiver is messy. I didn't clean it. Jeez, I gotta buy a brand new one. I have to buy a brand new one. These days it's too much money. They went 10 grand for one. But now, let, let's see if it knows. The, the pretty good no here. You can see the top bar and the arrows are moving. So I'm liking it. Turn it sideways. It went all the way to zero, ladies and gentlemen, went to zero. I know this is my target. Now, I'm going to mark it out. Dot it out first and null it back. Peek it out and null it back to verify. All right, I'm going to shoot another dot. My alarm's going off, you know, we're at eight inches. Seven inches for the street light. Hello. Right. And look, folks, I lost, I lost my tone. This one here is bleed off onto this light here. But you can see right here. 
beautiful tone. My compass is turning. I said, hey, it's turning. So I can do my sweep. We'll get a tone here, but that's that one. Because these lights are in the same trench. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. And look, I'm, get, I'm getting my milliamps right now. 1.4, because it's shallow. And beautiful null. Peak and nulls are really good. See, arrows went away. I lost my tone. Sweep. Arrow came up, but my current ended on this line. This was zero telling me, hey, keep going the other way. Keep going, because I bled out to the volatility. That's why I said no look back. No will most likely put you back where your where your tone is on. So you see where it knows right here. My tone's on this line. It's not on this line here. What the, what the hell is this guy doing, man? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? You almost hit me. I'm trying to record. What's wrong with these people, man? <laughs> but anyway, folks. That's, that's how it is. That's how you do it, ladies and gents. That's how I get this located. All right, folks, so that's how you locate streetlights. If it's customer owned, you can see behind me where you make a ring clip out of it, and you should get a tone. I mean, I got a beautiful tone. It was 12 inches down, got shallow. So I got shallower. But it was 12 inches down, great tone. It's markable. So that's how I locate the, our customer's streetlights. Just wrap it around her. But like I said, come villager streetlights, this, that, and this method, it won't work. You need to go to the pole, hook onto the pole, to their um, metal pole or whatever pole they're using, because their street lights are every pole is grounded, so you're locating off their ground. This one here, I'm locating the cable, the power cable itself. So I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Been um, really busy, tied up, personal things, as well um, work related. But please. Give me a thumbs up, thumb up this video, share this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. Thanks a lot for ladies and gentlemen for watching.